On average, vehicles seriously injure or kill a New Yorker every two hours. Approximately 4,000 New Yorkers are injured and more than 250 are killed each year in traffic crashes. Your choices matter. That was sort of an ordinary day um, for in our lives. I was in my room working, pretty ordinary day. I was trying to bake a gluten-free banana bread. Yeah. Henry called me. He said, hey, it's a gorgeous night. How about if you and I ride our bikes down the Greenway? My little boy, Nafis, opened the door, and he told me, Mom, there are police. My father and my mother were rushing. They were getting dressed, rushing. I got woken up by my mother. She, she ran into my room, she opened the door, she was like, there's detectives here, and I think there's something wrong with your brother. We did drive up to the emergency room. I think I dropped you off first. Yeah, he dropped me off, and then I went in there, and uh, there was Ali's shoes, and her, there was blood on it. I just, it was just, I was just so dazed. We continued through the intersection, and all of a sudden there were Headlights bearing down on us, and um, I slammed on my brakes, and I thought I was going to go flying right over my bike into this tow truck that was just taking the, the turn without any regard for the fact that we were there. And, and it hit him, and it threw him into another tow truck that was parked there. And um, I threw my bike to the ground. I ran over to him, and he was trying to get up and couldn't. Carl Henry Nacht, age 56, was hit and killed by a tow truck while he was riding his bike on the Greenway. Henry had the green light. My mom kept screaming, she's no longer with us. She's no longer with us. And uh, I, th I, was, I remember feeling really, really overwhelmed. Like, this is, there's no way this could be happening. There's no way. Renee Thompson, age 16, was hit and killed in the crosswalk by a turning truck. She was coming home from her job at Dylan's Candy Bar. We know now that, that definitely the car made a left turn, ran her over with the left front tire, and also ran her over with the rear tire too. So she was ran over twice that day. I guess one of the head doctors ended up coming over to us and had to explain that they've been working on Ali for at least a half an hour. And they had to stop. And they were pumping her heart for half an hour, but it wouldn't start. And they gave her blood. But it wouldn't start. And I remember holding her arms, and I said, take my blood. <laughs> she said it wouldn't work. Allison Liao, age three, was hit and killed in the crosswalk by a car making a left turn. She was holding her grandmother's hand. Es como que si de repente se te va la vida. Es un dolor que no no tiene explicación. Es por qué? Porque a mi hijo porque murió de esa manera. Josbel Rivera, age 23, was killed in a hit and run as he crossed the street. Josbel was left lying in the street for two hours before a person spotted him and called 911. Then I went to go see my brother. I touched his face, kissed him. <laughs> but that's it, you know? Someone's gone, they're just gone, just like that. There's nothing you can do. Asif Rahman, age 22, was struck and killed by a truck while he was riding his bicycle. Drive like your sister lives here. Drive like your partner lives here. Drive like your brother lives here. 
manejen como si sus hijos viven aquí. Gari chalan es shumay monikurven, apnar bachcha ipothi. Drive like your children live here. 